Yes, sir. The second case we have is for an updated master plan for the Lund property for Hydro Farms is the commercial operating name. With that, staff has um, <coughs> this case before the commission back in 2014. We have a copy of both what was approved back then and what the current site plan was that was proposed. Uh, I would tell you that we thought we could get the site plan changes prepared for you for today, uh, but we were not able to do so. So we met with Mr. Lund this afternoon to talk about his potential expansions that are not shown on the site plan, and we believe the best interest was to recommend tabling it to the July 25th Planning Commission meeting, which as you see by the way we've advertised would actually fall the day before the county hears it on July 26th. So kind of an odd advertisement, but that was our recommendation was the site plan is just not ready for y'all's consideration. It does a good job of showing what is there, you know, to the square foot, but it does not really show any kind of future expansion. And so we want to make sure we have some of those short-term plans expounded on with Mr. Lund to show that to y'all. So with that, our recommendation is to table. We we're hoping to get this site plan, but it's just not ready. So our hope is to have it tabled until July 25th and then turn it around on the 26th and have county commissioners consider, which is how we advertise it for consideration. All right, but uh, for future re or for reference, I actually did ask Mr. Lund to be here in case the commissioners do have questions for him. So I did go ahead and ask him, you know, if he was available to be here in case we need to hear from him for this case. Okay, so in that case, we'll go right straight to anyone like to speak in, in favor, please come forward. And I understand that Commissioner Two has some questions, Mr. Lund. Thank you for this opportunity. First, I'd like to say, not to you, my name is Ed Lund. The address is 4701 Knights Ferry no, Road, Lambs County. Uh, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity to speak to you in regards to High Road Farm. High Road Farm is and has always been developed as a venue for matrimony. And it is not all the development there including the future development the next few days that will be given to y'all that was not ready and the reason it was not ready is because Valdosta seems to have quite a bit of business going on and the architectural firm that's handling it has got so much business going on the last few items that were needed were not being able to be you know taken care of by this meeting you know, but we're proud that there's that much business going on in Lambs County. Uh, the next thing is, uh, I'll assure you, we will make the next meeting, both of those meetings with everything in place for your complete, you know, thing. Uh, High Road Farm has always been and always will be not only a unique situation in the way it's been developed, but it has also been developed for the entire knowledge of the neighbors and the surrounding community and also very much with their comfort, their home, and the ability to enjoy their property surrounding High Road Farm in a way that you would in a home site. Do <coughs> uh, you have any questions? Yes, go ahead, Commissioner. I've got a couple things. <coughs> comments and anything. I, I know that it's just from observation, you're right, it's a very, very nice place out there. But it, it looks like every time I go by, it's getting a little bit more and more. So or on your uh, future plan, are you going to do just what your expansions are now? Or what There's three or four do? items that we're looking at that the architect gave us soon. Matter of fact, he called me soon and they want this thing. <coughs> I had not put them on there, but after the meeting with Jason and Camilla today, I've agreed to go ahead and have those items changed. That's really what held up this meeting today because we feel like the future items need to be considered by y'all. There's about three items. They will, I do have a meeting with Jimmy Cohn and the architect in the morning, you know, and as soon as that meeting's over with, these three items will be added to that and you will, this will be delivered to you from my understanding from Mr. Cohn this week. Um, the three items, are you fixing to build those right now? No. Right. 
but, but this is actual future stuff. So you uh, looking at the building, and I know about the size of the building. Have any need to expand that in the future? If you do? We don't. You know, uh, everything we did, the items that are there are already put in place. There's something there. There's, for instance, one building that is already in place. The ceiling and the floor in it, but due to our commitment to our neighbors out there in regards to music and sound and that type of thing, we have put on this plan that's on the standard plan already that will be delivered to y'all. This we're going to turn that into a class, a class solarium that has the proper square footage already in it, no expansion of the building that will be heated and air conditioned. The music will have to be inside this glass solarium. So none of the music, noise, or dancing, or enjoyment of that facility will go out to the night. The reason I'm asking these questions, you know that even if you speculate that, well, you know, 10 years from now there will be a need possibly to increase the size of your building there, you know you can go ahead and put that on the plans even though you don't build that's what i've been instructed today okay i'll be honest with you that part of it i did not know right. and i thought we had most everything to do but there was these three or four items that we were looking at down the road well advice from staff and advice from jimmy at this point that's why he called me on sunday afternoon i was mistaken i didn't think i should put them on there as of yet i thought it would come on after but they advised me that's why we're asking for it to be tabled. These three or four items will be on there as of tomorrow. You know, and then we will move forward at that time, you know, the thing. But the facilities out there, everything we're out there, and due to the ability of us and our neighbors around there, we are not that the, there's one wedding per week at the farm. That's all we are, you know, our plan. We have one wedding plan, if they agree with us, and quite a few people do, they enjoy the farm that way. They do have the farm for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know? And uh, the main thing is the surrounding neighbors, the property, and the farm will be in harmony. But nothing. this is nothing drastic these four items. But I have been advised to go ahead and put them on there. That's why I'm asking for the delay or the tabling of this until the next meeting. But now would be the time to add even more stuff that you don't that you dream of down the road. That way you don't have to come back again. Well, I'm already being my correct. Of course I'm gonna be real honest. I'm I'm seventy years old. <laughs> my wife is sixty nine years old. We have been asked to do more than one wedding a week. You know, out there, but we have put that into our policy. Uh, we don't feel like we need to have two weddings a week out there. Uh, the business that's part of it is very substantial at that. You know, now when I'm gone and Evelyn's gone, you know, and my son and my daughter will receive this piece of property, uh, you will have to deal with them and they will have to deal with you. <laughs> but as of right now, there's one wedding a week out there. You know, and that's it. You know, and the facility, these other three items are very small items, but I understand that they need to be put on there. But I do I do appreciate your advice. That's all I just wanted to bring that up so we don't have to revisit this again. Right. Any other questions or comments from staff? Yes, sir. Staff, staff actually. Mr. Chairman, I just want to say that I did, you know, Carmel and I did press with Mr. Lund that similar issue and we had a very similar response about his age and that. You know, he has a limit on what he wants to do with his property, but we may see them again for a future generation. Mr. Chairman, I have one question. Mr. Chairman, go ahead. Uh, is there an expiration date on a PD? We do not currently typically do an expiration date on these. We typically let the square footages and the impervious surface type maximums control when we think there's a there's an error. So we currently don't do that. We let those maximums be our ceiling for when they come back to see us. And for example, if they, um, you know, not saying Mr. Lund would do this, but if he just showed us 18,000 square feet, well, we'd want to see where that 18,000 square feet is. We wouldn't want to have like a huge buffer of unseen square footage. So that's typically what we let control is, is the upper limit of development. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank
I'd also like to speak to that too, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. We've been very, very uh, careful about how this piece of property has been developed. The beauty of it, the balance of buildings on this piece of property. Mm -hmm. The property is the beautiful part of this facility. And myself and my wife have been very careful about the balance of this thing. We were very adamant not to overbuild this piece of property and take away from the view of the property. Anything else? Okay, do I have to ask if anyone wants to speak against or do we just ask about the table? Uh, I mean, since you asked for those four, I think it would be okay to ask for those against. Okay. We'd like to invite any of you that would like to come out and see the property firsthand. You know, all you have to do is get, if you've got my number, call me, we'll make an arrangement for it. Thank you. I'd like to say I've been out there on several occasions in the past. We used to have a meeting out there every month. No, I didn't get married yet. And it is a beautiful property, and they maintain it well. Uh, and it, like you said, all of the neighbors are mostly relatives, so that helps. <laughs> Okay, now, should I ask for anyone to speak against? Yeah. Anyone here like to speak against this request? Hearing none, I'd like to ask for a motion or a request for table. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we table this request until he has time to bring a new site plan to the commission until the next planning commission work session. I mean, planning commission meeting and commission meeting. Okay, we have a motion to table. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, like sign. Thank you all very much. Is there any other business that we need to 